Today I'm standing in the Nap of Hawar. It's a 5,700 year old settlement on Papa Westray Island in the Orkneys of Scotland. Now standing here in this hut built in 3,700 BC, you'd probably assume I'd be talking about some Stone Age history. But the reality is, this is pretty much just the best place to get out of the 30 mile per hour wind here, and I'm going to be talking about aviation. The longest commercial flight on Earth is between New York City and Singapore, and it takes about 18 hours and 50 minutes on an Airbus 350-900 ULR, ultra long range. The shortest commercial flight on Earth, though, is operated here, between that island in the distance, Westray, and the island I'm standing on right now, Papa Westray, at just about two minutes. The speed record for that flight was 53 seconds, set by a man who flew the route 12,000 times. And the distance between the islands is the same as if you lined up 40 of those Airbus 350s for a total of 2,700 meters, or 1.7 miles. Even if it were to take the full two minutes it is allotted, that is still shorter than the average speech flight attendants give about seat belts and emergency exits. I paid seven pounds for a ticket to get me to Papa Westray, but what is interesting about this flight, besides the novelty of it, is that it may be where modern aviation pivots into its next phase, commercial electric planes. Since 1967, Logan Air has been operating the flight between Westray and Papa Westray. It serves as a critical connection for air ambulances, while simultaneously giving the residents here an alternative to taking the ferry to and from other islands in the Orkney chain. The flight itself is considered a public service obligation to the residents, lending a small sense of comfort with the knowledge that if you were to fall ill while on these outlying islands, your connection to a hospital or care can be exceedingly expedited via plane. That public service obligation is what allows Logan Air to even offer the flight, since the reality is that they would be unable to run these flights at a profit without subsidization. The less travelers there are on routes, the more expensive they usually are. That is circumvented since the government considers this an essential service, like most other forms of infrastructure. From the largest airport in the Orkneys, Kirkwall, you can ride on Logan Air to about half a dozen destinations in the Outer Isles. The furthest route is between Kirkwall and North Ronaldsay, at just under 35 miles. Short-haul commercial flights is nothing new around the world, especially like island archipelagos like here and Hawaii, for example but these small networks of flights are a doorway for testing the future of flight with electric aircraft. Electric aircraft suffer just as electric cars do, with range anxiety. The harder and longer you run an electric motor, the faster you run out of juice. And those electric batteries in their current form are also extremely heavy, heavier than an engine and the gas required to run it in most instances. This is less of a problem on land or in water, but in aviation, Weight is the king of considerations, affecting performance more than any other factor. As of the making of this video, there are a few examples of truly successful electric planes. Notably the trainer, Pipistrel Velis Electro, made in Slovenia. Dozens of other aircraft manufacturers are trying to solve the puzzle of commercial electric passenger planes, but none have been able to crack the code just yet. These range from major airlines designing from the ground up, to retrofitting standard planes already available with batteries and electric motor, which has been considered for the Britain Norman Islander, used by Logan Air for its service between Westray and Papa Westray. For now though, the idea of flying electric planes around these islands is still in its infancy, an infancy that has lasted over half a decade so far. The first mention of the project to fly electric planes around the Orkneys was in late 2018, with the ambition being to have them up and running by 2021. That was five years ago, and as you can clearly see, hasn't exactly been fruitful. The first thing you need to begin such a project would be a viable vehicle. Once you have that, then plans can be put in place to build the required infrastructure to support the aircraft. Progress has been slow when it has been happening at all. The future looks equally as sluggish. If and when the system and infrastructure is ever built to fly commercial electric planes and test its effectiveness, there's probably no better place than here in the Orkneys. The Orkneys are home to over 500 domestic wind turbines as well, more than any other county in the United Kingdom, meaning that as long as the wind blows here, which it does quite abundantly, there is a renewable form of energy to power those electric aircraft. 
In fact, the wind power combined with the electricity produced from the tidal and wave production is literally too much for the small power infrastructure here. It's even problematic at times, but that's a different story. Regarding electric planes though, the short hops between the outlying islands are well within the expected range that the first viable aircraft are expected to be able to achieve. But for now, only time will tell. Simultaneously, plans have been put in place to build bridges in certain areas amongst the islands as well, including the short span between Westray and Papa Westray. This would reduce the need for ferries and planes between many of the smaller outer islands. This was in conversation around 2014, and as you can see, has also not exactly come to fruition. Meanwhile though, the buzz of these eight-seater planes is probably going to be heard over these islands for at least several more years, just as it has been for the last 55 or so. Carrying residents and travelers to and from until the day comes that the bridges are built or the electric planes become at least somewhat feasible. Check out another video here. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreon subscribers for helping me get here. And as always, until next time, get lost.